good afternoon friends welcome to tech system automation solution now today i show you how to communicate your energy meter with plc using modbus ccp ip let's start the configuration just go on the communication block open the others modbus ccp and client block as the modbus client block this is your input data first is a request bit so i assigned one here one clock memory and request bit signal is high your client block sent to request for your server to server for communication next bit is the false is a disconnect bit here this bit is false means zero your connection established between your client and server and this bit is high your client is disconnect with your server next is the mb mode means mode bus mode you read data from your plc your energy meter you also write some data to energy meter right now if i just read i said zero if you write some data the we set as a one next is the mb data addressing so basically we read uh, three different variable i show you in manual first is the voltage between first phase and neutral second is the voltage between second phase and neutral and third is the voltage between third phase and neutral and you just see the formatting is the float means the data type is uh, this variable is float and per variable you just see the number of register is of 2 your one register is equal to one word and here we occupy two word for one variable and the offset is one and we have used the holding register that time holding register starting address is 40000 area now the 40001 is my base address now the offset is one so my first address starting address is 40001 plus 1 means 40002 so here i just said 40002 data length i read six variable i read sorry i read only three variable so i need total six registers 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 six so here i said length is six and the mb data ptr means mode bus data pointer and you read some data from your energy meter to plc but in plc which memory you occupied to save this data so here i assign the memory for pointer and 20.0 byte and six word means total 12 byte so this is the formatting next is the connect block and i show you the information about the connect basically we have connect we have used the data type tcon ipv4 in the connection we have in the connect option we have set the all configuration about our client now just see first the interface id is the hardware identification number of the local interface second is the id the reference to the connection third is the connection type we have used the tcp ip so we have set 11 for tcp connection second is the connection active established select true for active connection established remote address we have set our modbus server address and the remote port the report number of the remote connection partner and the local port in the remote port by default we have set value 502 and the local port port number of the local connection partner if you communicate any other of other port just set as a zero now first add the one data block and given the name is the data and set here this data type paste tcon ip4 you just see all the information are come to here now the first the interface hardware interface just go on the device configuration and click on the property and go in the profile interface option in the last you just see hardware identification number is 64 now open the data block and here i will set first hardware identification number 464 my i have just only one energy meter i set one connection type 11 active connection just one here i assign my energy meter ip 0 and 10 and two parameters is the remote log by default set as a 502 local port i set 0 now just configure here find your data block data and okay So now your all the inputs parameters are completed, and you just see some output parameters are also there. Turn busy error and status. Just click on the block and press F1. You just see 
done bit means the bit at output parameter done is set to 1 as soon as the last job is completed without any error busy means 0 means no modbus request in progress 1 means modbus request being processed error bit means 0 means no error 1 means error occurred and the causes of error is indicated by the status parameter which error is generated so this code is generated in status and based on this code we identify ke which error is come to in our block so now we assign here memory m 2.0 2.1 m 2.2 and mw 5 now your configuration is completed first i download all the information to plc load just wait for some time and finish now start the monitoring on we just see our uh, pointer address is m20.0 means your this three variables they come to in our plc this data store in our this memory okay right now you just see no any error in this block your communication is working properly now we will check data is come to our plc or not so just go on the watch and force table and set view new, new watch table and here i write the address first md20 is the floating point MD24 and MD28. Select the data tag floating tag floating. Now start the monitoring on. We just see. First is the first phase voltage between first phase and neutral, second was the second phase and neutral, and third is the third phase and neutral. Three variable we read in our PLC. Okay friends, so this is the configuration for communicate to your PLC and energy meter in Modbus TCP IP protocol. Thank you. If you like my videos, please like, subscribe and share it.